How's it going? And for this quick video, I'm going to be explaining about why do we have a leap year every four years. Alright, so let's get to this video, shall we? Okay, so I'm telling you, it was like many years ago when this whole thing started, when this leap year started. And a fact is, for the Earth to orbit around the Sun usually takes like 365 days. So that means in the calendar, we have 365 days in one year. And it also equals to 12 months. So in the calendar, we have 12 months a year. And usually, most of the months, like those 11 months, is usually 30 to 31 days long. But the only one that is shorter is the month February. February usually is 28 days. But within a leap year, it would have 29 days. So instead of ending at February 28th or 28th of February, either way, it would end in February the 29th or the 29th of February. And as of this year in 2024, we have 29 days in the month February. So, so like I said, so what I'm trying to explain to you is every four years, we have a leap year. So instead of it being 365 days, it would be 366 days in a leap year. And it happens every four years, like I said. So this year in 2024, we have a leap year. And four years ago, in 2020, we had a leap year. And 2016, and 2012, and also 2008, and even 2004, before I was born, of course. And even before I was born, we had leap years but I didn't even know about it. This is before I even knew about it. But as time goes on, when I grow up and I learn, then I know what a leap year is. And let me tell you, if there wasn't a leap year, let's just say in the months November or December at the end of the year, then it would just be in the summertime. It wouldn't be winter time. And usually in the month December until throughout the winter time, we would have snow but without the leap year we wouldn't even get the snow because it would be summertime and all this now keep in mind in in the northern in the north side of the earth let's say if it was in december it would be it would be winter time which means it would be cold you know depending on the country but it would still be cold nonetheless but in the south it would be summertime, which means it'd be hot in the month December. But in July, you know, in the, in the summer months, you know, the top or the northern uh, hemisphere would be, would be hot and sunny. And again, depending on which region you're at, but in the south, it would be wintertime, which means it'd be cold in the month July. You know, honestly, it's really interesting. And the new thing that I've learned is the sun rises starting from from Australia or New Zealand either way but I just learned that this is where the sun first rises and the ending point is right after right after after North America and South America so this is the new things that I've learned and I wanted to share with you in this video So uh, yeah, and also a bonus for this video is, look, I even got to, and I got an Italy flag on my jacket. And let me tell you, um, I'm really interested in when it comes to traveling to Italy. And there's more places I want to travel to, but this is the one thing that I'm interested in. Because going there, you know, it was just really beautiful place, and especially the view and everything. But also, the food there is like really tasty. Like desserts, pizza, spaghetti, so many types or so many shapes of pasta, especially lasagna too. Now, if I wasn't allergic to dairy, then I would definitely be eating lasagna. Especially, especially the way it tastes, you know, honestly, it's good. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And make sure to leave this video a like. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure you do. And with your support, you help grow this channel. Alrighty.
stay tuned for more videos, folks.